All right, picking Vegas and beyond. eBay really needs to get these scammers under control. <clears throat> it's happened too many times. Too many times. So, okay. So, a couple of days ago, I encountered the Social Security scam on eBay for the fr first time. I've encountered it on other selling platforms and other places online in the past, so I immediately knew what the hell was going on. Basically, if you don't know what the Social Security scam is, it's where the scammer will send you a bullshit story trying to manipulate you into feeling sorry for them. And basically try to con you into sending them an item for free. Which is what this scammer tried to do to me. It starts out with this long, drawn-out message where they tell me that, oh, I'm on Social Security. I don't have any money until April 1st. But I really like this item that you have. So can you please find it in your heart to send the item to me? The item is going to be a gift for, I think they said their daughter's or granddaughter or somebody's birthday or some shit along those lines. And after all this, well, actually, before they say, can you send the item, blah, 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 they say, send me an offer and I'll immediately re accept it. Only to follow that up with, I don't have any money. <laughs> so what the fuck is the point of sending you an offer? And then they follow that up with, can you please find it in your heart to send the item? It would really make... My daughter or granddaughter or whoever the fuck they were using as a, you know, excuse to get the item. Blah, 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 whatever. I don't know. Anyway. Then they say, if you send the item, when I get my social security check, I will make sure to pay you immediately. So, of course, dealing with the scam in the past, or not really dealing with it, but seeing it in the past, I immediately contacted eBay. The first rep I talked to agreed that it was a scam. They transferred me, supposedly, to someone in their fraud department, some guy with two first names. With, he has two... Really American sounding first names. I think it was like Michael Brian, Brian Michael, some, something like that. Anyway, he's telling me all this stuff about how it's definitely a scam, number one. Number two... So he implied that this person, or maybe not this person, but someone had been doing, you know, scamming people from that account. Which, most likely, I think the, ha the account was hacked because I went on and looked and it had a ton of positive feedback. So, I don't know how they would have that much positive feedback if they had been scamming people the whole time. 
Or maybe they just thought that because they had so much positive feedback, eBay wouldn't do anything to them. I don't know what happened. Somewhere along the lines, they fucked up. But anyway, so as I'm talking to the guy with two first names, who was supposedly from eBay's fraud department, he says, well, he said a lot of things, but what matters for this video is, and what I actually could understand, because he didn't speak English very well, but what I actually understood him saying and what's relevant to this video, he said that they were going to, eBay was going to take action against the account. He couldn't tell me what the punishment would be. He just gave a, you know, list of possible punishments for the account that range anywhere from basically don't do that you know like a white parent getting mad at their kid at the grocery store or something <clears throat> anyway which is pretty much what they do most of the time as far as eBay goes to scammers and buyers in general who fuck people over. Anyway, he said that they were going to do something, supposedly. I honestly don't believe that because if eBay actually did anything to these scammers there would not be so many scammers on eBay that being said I'm dealing with another scam okay so and that's the reason I actually want to make this video because this morning I go on my account and have all these, you know, messages from eBay and all this. And one of the messages is saying that the buyer who opened a return on, on me claimed that the item had already been returned to me and that I had already received it. Problem number one, that's not true. Problem number two. <laughs> they uploaded, they gave eBay a tracking number. The tracking number they gave to eBay last showed whatever they shipped was in another state. That tracking has not up dated in I'm not sure how long so but yet despite the fact I never received the item tracking even verifies that I never received it the tracking that they provided to eBay themselves they are you know claiming to eBay that the item was returned and that I have already received it, which I haven't. In which I'm not even sure if they actually returned the item they said they were going to return. Because they they seem kind of fishy from the start. Because as soon as the notification came in that the item was delivered to them, they opened a return, claiming that the item was broken and this and that. Which it wasn't, because when I shipped it, I made sure to ship it in a box with, you know, proper protection to make sure it didn't get broken. Which I do anything that I think is, you know, might get broken, you know, along the way in shipping. So... 
that seemed off right away because I had another person try something similar where they said the item had been damaged or broken or whatever. And then they opened a the return and then I never get the item back. And then eBay forced a fucking refund anyway, even though I never got the item back. So hopefully, because as soon as I get this notification and everything else and email and everything else from eBay saying that the person had said that they returned the item and that I'd already received it. And then down, you know, towards the bottom of it said that I need to refund the buyer, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh no, not going to happen. I have not received this, blah, blah, blah. So I go and, you know, open a case and tell eBay, no, I have not received it. And I said, the tracking that they provided even shows that it never got here and all that. So hopefully eBay doesn't screw me again because they did last time. They know damn well the item was never returned because that buyer, the one, the previous one that I dealt with, never even uploaded a tracking number or nothing. They never even returned it, period. But being that eBay is a bunch of bullshit, they still forced the refund anyway, even though the buyer never returned the item. So hopefully they don't do that again, because if they do that again, I'm probably just going to close my store and delete my fucking account because I'm getting sick and tired of dealing with scams and dealing with eBay not giving a fuck. <laughs>